In this video, we'll be analyzing the graph of a function to sketch the curve of an equation which contains a radical. If you've not already done so, press pause to copy these guidelines into your notes. When you're ready to continue, press play. The first thing that we wish to do is find the x-intercept of our equation by letting y equal 0. We know that when we have two factors multiplied together and the product is 0, then one or the other or both of the factors are equal to 0. So that gives us x equals 0. And then we also can find our domain of our function by stating that 9 minus x has to be greater than or equal to 0. So that'll give us our 0 and our domain. So 9 minus x has to be greater than or equal to 0. Subtract 9 from both sides. So negative x is greater than or equal to negative 9. Divide both sides by negative 1. So x is less than or equal to 9. So equal to 9 will be the 0 and then the domain is restricted to all numbers that are less than 9. So let's enter this information on our graph. x equals 0 is one of the zeros of our function. And x has to be less than or equal to 9. So 9 is a 0. And then this is our domain numbers that are less than 9. Our next step is to find the y-intercept by letting x equal 0. So this is y equals 0, and we already have that plotted on the graph. Um, if we look at symmetry, um, we have no symmetry. Since this is not a rational function, we're not going to have any vertical asymptotes. For horizontal asymptote, oblique asymptote, those occur when we have uh, a rational function. But we can find the limit as x approaches negative infinity. Since our domain is restricted, uh, we're not going to be able to approach positive infinity, but we can look at negative infinity. The limit as x approaches negative infinity of our expression, our limit as x approaches negative infinity is just going to be negative infinity. So we're just going to head down toward negative infinity on the left side of our graph. Now let's find our derivative. f is equal to x times 9 minus x to the 1 half power. So f prime, we'll need to use the product rule. So we have x times the derivative of the second factor. And 
times the derivative of what's inside plus the second factor times the derivative of the first so we need to simplify this derivative so in the first term it looks oh I forgot to close my Okay, it looks like we have x, and um, I'll put the negative 1 up there in the numerator. And then I have a 2, and then this square root. In the denominator, plus, and then this second term is the square root in the numerator. That would be over 1. So let's multiply top and bottom of this term by the radical. By 2 times the radical so that I can get a common denominator. So I have 2 times the square root of 9 minus x in the denominator. And I have a negative x plus 2 times 9 minus x in the numerator. So this is... Two radical 9 minus x in the denominator. I have an 18. And then this, is, when I distribute the 2, I have a negative 2x and a negative 1x. So this is uh, undefined at x equal 9. And I have 18 minus 3x equals 0. So 18 equals 3x. x equals 6. A critical number. And I also have a uh, critical number at 9, but um, I'm not going to have anything on the right side of 9 since my domain is restricted. So I'm just going to check, and we're just assuming that my domain goes less than or equal to 9. So um, if I check a test value of... 0, and then a test value of 7. In my derivative, a test value of 0 would give me a positive derivative, and a test value of 7 would be a negative derivative. So it looks like, since my derivative is positive, slope of the tangent line is positive, and then negative on either side of the 6, that my 6 is a relative max. And then if I put 6 into my function, times the 
square root of 9 minus 6. Looks like 6 times the square root of 3. Ten point four. So at six ten point four, I have a relative max. Six root three. Now I know that my graph is going to come from this point, hit a max up here, go through zero, zero, and then head toward negative infinity. And I'm going to calculate a, a few values to see where. Um, let me find f of negative one and f of negative 2. So I'm going to just plot these points. When x is negative 1, we have a negative 3.2. And when x is negative 2, we have a negative 6.6. .6. I can draw my curve now. Oops. Looks like it'll go something like 